Considering the boosted specifications of the iMac Pro compared to the standard iMac, Apple has done an excellent job of maintaining the iconic look of the all-in-one machine. All those impressive components are located behind the 27-inch screen, leading to an attractive, minimalist machine that looks great in any office or studio. The fact that Apple has kept the body as thin as it has is also testament to the effort and careful design considerations involved in the creation of the iMac Pro. At its edges, the iMac Pro is an impressive 5 mm thick, meaning it won't hog too much space on your desk. It also weighs just 9.7 kg which means it's easy enough to move from desk to desk if needs be. Having such powerful components, which require more power and therefore produce more heat, means that a capable cooling system is required, especially considering the slimline design of the iMac Pro. Thankfully, Apple's engineers have created an impressive cooling system for the iMac Pro, with dual fans that help circulate cool air over components, while expelling hot air. In our tests, this did an excellent job of keeping the iMac Pro cool while under a lot of pressure, editing 4K HDR content in Final Cut Pro X, a pretty strenuous task, while also reducing the noise of the fans. Sure, it emits heat while being used, but that's the point of the cooling system, and we are impressed with how quiet it is. With an all-in-one machine that sits in front of you on your desk, you don't want any distracting fan noises while you work and the iMac Pro does an excellent job of mitigating that. According to Apple, the cooling solution, which includes a high-capacity heat sink and extra venting on the back of the device, allows for almost 75% more airflow and an 80% increase in system thermal capacity. All the while, the iMac Pro uses 67% more power than a 27-inch iMac.